right guys, welcome back. This is uh, episode two of Wedding Venue Tours, and today we're at the Tree House. Welcome back to Wedding Venue Tours in Vero Beach. Today we are at the Tree House and um, it's really, really awesome venue. So already right off the bat, I've noticed um, lots, of, lots of greenery, lots of plants. It's really cool. As you can see right here, we have a, uh, a, a I think, I believe this is a, um, a banana tree. Sorry for my posture, that probably looks weird. But <laughs> that, they've got lots of greenery back there. We even have some what do you call those things? Coconuts. We have coconuts, and uh, but you know we're already, you know, usually we like to meet them, get started first. But we're already here in this this area, so I'm just going to show you guys this really quick, and then we'll go and meet Pam and Jake. Good. We have a good amount of parking right here. It's great. It's awesome, and it's right next to the venue. So you park, and then you're there. It's great. Have some coconuts. I don't know if someone wants to get zoom in and get get the coconut. Right off the bat, something I've noticed with this venue is there's a lot of symmetry, which I like as a videographer. I'm very attracted to symmetry, and um, that's something I really like. But anyway, let's go ahead and say hi to Pam and Jake. They're the owners of the venue here. All right. Hey, guys. Good to see you again. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, so thank you guys for uh, opening up the venue and letting us tour it. Um, it's really awesome that you guys are letting us do this. When you guys do your... Um, your tours for your couples, where do you guys start? So we actually start right here. Right here, okay. We greet everybody, welcome, welcome them in, ask yeah. if they have to use the restroom or anything after their long drive. Um, and then basically we do a tour of all of the rooms and then we do a tour of the venue space and then we'll do a tour of all the grounds. So we're okay. on 10 acres, so there's a lot to see. 10 acres, yeah. So um, something that I was really intrigued by was the inspiration for your guys' venue. I, I remember we, we talked to you guys, said that you went to Mexico or something, and then you guys, yeah. that was like the inspiration. So Pam and I actually got married in Tulum, Mexico, and a lot of the inspiration for the treehouse actually came from the place where we got married. We fell in love with the open air concept. Everything was naturally beautiful and very easy, free flowing. We love the aesthetic, so whenever we came up with the design, we incorporated a lot of that into the design. Treehouse is all about being nature-centric, so this is my family's farm, and um, it's been in the family for over 25 years. And through our brainstorming for getting married, we actually looked into getting married right here before the venue was built. And so I looked into like running tents, running porta potties, all the catering, you know, all the things. And I was like, this is just too overwhelming, too much to do, too expensive. So we headed to Mexico. <laughs> um, but then that was kind of like an inspiration to experience getting married. And then we went to like a few friends' weddings that year. We were like, we should do this at our house. It's just as pretty. So that really inspired the design. We love travel too, so we wanted to bring in like a lot of global aesthetics. So this wasn't here at all? You guys like completely built no. all of this? It's funny, I have some pictures. There was like pepper trees overgrown all here with like old trailers and piles of like cinder blocks and just broken down lawnmowers, like complete trash. So <laughs> yeah. we, um, he spent an entire summer cutting down pepper trees. Um, we designed the building from scratch on a piece of paper and then we brought it to some engineers to make it official um, and then we built Treehouse ourselves. So uh, so this is obviously you know a pretty a pretty large space. What's uh, what does your guys's capacity look like for people having weddings here? How many people could they have? How many guests? We could accommodate up to 200 people. Uh, we do have plenty of space. There's 3,000 square feet here open air. The rooms are that are under AC and heat that's another thousand square feet so we have the capacity to hold up to 200 people. Restrooms, we have three toilets in both, so six total. Everything is ADA compliant. Um, we have a large parking lot in the front. We can accommodate up to, up to 100 vehicles, large shuttle buses, Ubers, taxis, all that sort of fun stuff. So, um, so it's designed to be flexible space. So we have um, all of our own furniture, and we include tables, chairs, linens. Um, so anyways, this is 72 chairs, so really nice size space. You still have lots of room for like dancing, cocktail hour, DJ, photo booth. What kind of add-ons do you guys have? So many. So many? <laughs> yeah, so we, 
Lots to add on. We're sort of like OCD perfectionists and we're super organized and we just kind of love what we do so we just keep adding on. Um, but it's really served us well and our clients well because we're here working all the time and we're working with the same vendors all the time so we're you know used to what works well here. Um, but in the last year we've added on our own in-house DJ which is awesome. We have wedding planning of course. We have our own in-house bartender. So. Um, what else? Flowers, how could I forget? Started growing flowers in the last year and a half, so now we offer floral services, and our florals are all grown in-house, and they're 100% organic and sustainable. And then beyond that, we have like rentals. So rentals would be sweetheart table, backdrops, um, ceremony arches, like cool lighting, or you know, yeah. just little like fun, unique statement pieces to add on to the day to make it really yeah. Their own. So everything they see right here is this all stuff that they could rent and have at, yeah. at their wedding? Yep. Awesome. This is all treehouse stuff. Do you guys typically get a lot of people who do that? Like do most of the people yeah. end up renting a lot of the stuff? Cause... Yeah. We find that people will um, select like a few things to go with their vibe. So for example, if they're really going for the tropical vibe, a lot of times they'll get the rattan chargers because mm -hmm. it kind of works. Um, and then we also do a lot of boho style. So we have like disco balls and more like pompous grass look too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, people will kind of pick a few things that go with their vibe. Here, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, oh, what, are, what do we call these spaces? Lounges, they're getting lounges. ready lounges. <laughs> All right, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is one of our getting ready lounges. Yeah. Um, this one's set up more towards a bride, so it has a lot of like natural lighting behind you. We have the makeup bar, um, getting ready stools. So our venue rentals are full day rentals. So usually the bridal party will come in the morning and start getting ready. So you can invite your um, makeup artists and hair artists here and hang out, eat bagels, drink champagne. <laughs> Uh, the lounge is designed to be super nature-centric as well. So if you look out the windows, you'll see just greenery. We want um, everyone to feel super relaxed on their wedding day. But yeah, no, this is a really awesome space. I really like that. I, You know, that's something that I never really noticed. And now that you bring that to my attention, um, that is a really nice detail. The fact that it's just kind of like covered with all this greenery. One of the benefits or uniqueness, I guess, is that it's a private farm. And we're also surrounded on three sides by a nature preserve. So it's really private. There's no like cars coming in and out. There's no people walking by. There's no buildings at all to be seen. So it's yeah. really like an oasis in the middle of town. Yes, yeah, so it really it really does feel like that. Um, something that I noticed, is, which is really you know nice and convenient, right here we have the bathroom. So if you guys want to come come check it out, check out bathroom. Go see the bathroom. The bathrooms are very beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I really appreciate the restrooms and the lounges because all the wood came from our family farm in Kentucky. Oh, uh, by the, okay. So we brought it in raw, finished it, polished it, did the epoxy work, and set the bar tops in both the lounges and the restrooms. Is it, isn't there like some kind of story with the like the stalls or something? Or like... Well, those are DIY. Okay, so <laughs> they did them all DIY right. stalls. And I really wanted it to be like eco-friendly. Um, so my dad came to the rescue as usual and he built those out of plywood and then we used like Epe for the um, border and then I wallpapered the plywood. Well, they, they well, look great. DIY they definitely hack. look way better than whatever you could have bought online. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, it's cool. Look down here, we have like a neat little mirror if you want to get a shot of that. That might go totally. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was that was awesome. That was a fun little tour of the uh, bride suite and bathroom. Um, so I guess from here we'll go and check out the groom suite. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome to our second suite, getting ready lounge. Awesome. Yeah. So um, this is really nice. I feel like a lot of times, you know, the groomsmen are almost like shoved in like a corner. Yeah. Or like in a you know, a shed or something. I think it's really <laughs> nice that you guys have a, an equally as impressive space for, for the groomsmen as well as the bride. So, so yeah, uh, there's a couple things we want to say about the space. Yeah, so this is our second lounge. Um, we do have space for two different groups to separate. One important thing about 
both of our lounges is behind you. We have a back door, so there's an entrance exit on both sides. It comes in very handy for multiple purposes. Uh, first looks are handy if you're trying to sneak away from your guests. If they're starting to arrive and you don't want to be seen, it comes in really handy for that. It's a good way to kind of move about sneak the property. Around. Yeah, sneak around. What would you say to your guys' style is if you had to like describe? Um, I always say like modern tropical. Yeah. It's a little boho, but um, more like a worldly, like global aesthetic, I yeah. think. Just a neutral palette so that, you know, really nature is the showcase. And then the elements are kind of earthy. So like we yeah. went with the raw cement, lots of wood tones, earth tones, so. I absolutely, totally understand. Like that's, that's like, that I feel makes like sense. that's like the perfect way of saying it. <laughs> it definitely is, is that. Yeah, down to earth. Yeah. And, yeah. So um, I guess if we want, we could very quickly show the men's bathroom as well. We don't need to dwell on it. You know, we've already talked about that. <laughs> I mean, the cool part that is that it's, it's open to the yeah. bathroom, but you can close and lock that door, you know, to keep it separate during right. your reception. Yeah, so while we're over here on this side, I guess we should go take a look at the, is this right behind this wall is the prep area for the caterers? Yes. Yeah, we have catering kitchen. So. Awesome. Okay. So this is our uh, prep space for what do you, what do we, vendors? caterers, yeah, caterers. Vendors, all vendors, everybody alike. So yeah, this is our prep space. It's for everybody, not just our vendors. A lot of times in the mornings, if the brides or whoever's here want to set up like a bagels and coffee, use the fridge, you can put lunch platters in there, have cakes delivered, the whole nine. It's wide open, so you can kind of access and use this however you want to. It's a very flexible space, yeah. as is out there. We'll talk about that later on. But most of the time the caterers do come in here when it gets closer to go time and, and prep their food, have their chafing dishes and warming ovens and things like that, that nature in here to get ready to rock and roll for dinner. Awesome. Very convenient space. You know, it's nice that, you know, the, the couples can come in here and kind of use it. Yeah. All right. So now that we've checked out the catering kitchen, we'll go ahead and look at our ceremony spaces in that the outdoor area. So let's go. Yeah. yeah. There's one other thing I wanted to mention about our reception space. This past season, we did something really cool. We added clear vinyl roll down walls. So that allows us to completely enclose this building if there is a chance of inclement weather. Um, if it looks like, oh my gosh, it's 90% chance of rain, this is gonna be horrible because we're at Treehouse. No more, it's gonna be amazing because it's Treehouse. The walls are clear, so you still get the nature view. It really, it really is a game changer for those people who might have, you know, I'm not sure about an outdoor venue. What if it rains? We got you covered, literally. Since we were since we were just on the topic of uh, catering, this is uh, this is where you guys your uh, what do we call that? So this is our Cedar Shack bar. Cedar Shack. So this is handmade. This Everything is out here is literally done <laughs> by yours truly and her father. The three of us, we did everything out yeah. here together. Um, so. The Cedar Shack Bar is originally an orchid house. We looked at it and we decided this would be the perfect bar. Um, so we, we set it up out there. We have the live planters. The drinks are served right on top of the live planters on the clear glass. There's power out there. So if the bartenders, they need blenders, fans, lights. any lights, any extras, um, it's very convenient for whoever's doing a numerous number of things out there. Everything we look at has a story. And that's um, that's really neat that everything is, it's, your guys' personal touch is just all over this place. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. This is really cool. All right, so my favorite part is that you get your drinks on plants. So the bartenders <laughs> hang out inside and then there's three windows for access points. So there won't be long lines for the bar as well. And then the host can set up whatever they want inside. So you can serve drinks or cotton candy or whatever you want to pass out the window. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. That's a, that's really cool though. That's actually something I didn't know, um, you know, cause we've been here many times and uh, yeah. that's the first time I'm here, I've heard that story about this. So that's really cool that yeah. I'm figuring out some of these stuff. The lounge, the, uh, I guess the outdoor lounge area is always included in all of our rentals. So there's the fire pit, yeah. the couches, the market lights, that's always there. And so it's a really nice little hangout away from the reception area. If guests want to chill by the fire, not have a DJ in their face or whatever, you know, during cocktail hour, it's a nice distance away. 
Um, we also have high boys, so we usually put those in the grass here for cocktail hour. And then um, if you want to do a charcuterie spread or something, this oak tree is awesome for the shade. Um, so we usually set up like a charcuterie spread here. And this tree is yeah. getting bigger and shadier. So. That's awesome. Always looking for the shade. But yeah, this is a really cool space too. We actually, you know, what's really fun is um, we will sometimes take couples out here and we'll, we'll actually utilize this space for some portraits and things like that. Um, so not only is it a really useful spot for the guests, but it actually works well for portraits occasionally for, for things like that. Looking back at the venue, you get this view, the sunsets over the venue. Yeah, this is actually a really great shot right here. Yeah. You can really see the so whole the way space. that we oriented the building too is designed so that it catches the breeze. So the river is to the east, obviously. So the breeze is always coming this way. And I can feel it right now. Yeah. Actually, now that you mentioned <laughs> it's that, it's always windy a treehouse, which is amazing. And so we oriented it this way so that that back wall blocks sunset on purpose. So you're always in the shade. So yeah. being Florida natives, we know that like shade is key. And so the building is always like really pleasant under, yeah. underneath. So is this space right here, this is just me actually curious. Yeah. Um, do you guys ever use like right behind those flowers? Yeah. I, it's kind of like elevated. What What's is the wedding spot? Oh, the, the bridal mound. The bridal, bridal mound. mound. It's really cool because you get to see like the, the grove, the tree grove. And then when you're up there looking back at the venue is really cool. And it's a close walk if anybody's worried about like guests, mm -hmm. um, you know, getting that far, so. Yeah, how many ceremony, ceremony locations do you guys have? Great question. Okay, so we want your wedding to look really unique to you or to the couple per se. So we let the couple choose their ceremony spot. It could be anywhere that you want within walking distance. Again, it's 10 acres, so choose wisely. Um, but we have probably five or six spots that have become pretty common with cool backdrops, but it could be a totally new spot to a couple who thinks like a certain backdrop looks neat to them. Um, some people are going for more of a tropical look. Some people are going for more of like old Florida with Spanish moss and an oak tree look. We also love that it looks different every time we set up. So every treehouse wedding is a little bit different. It represents the couple and it's not like the same ceremony pictures every single time. Yeah, that is super so. fun. That's, um, yeah. I don't know if if that's something that we've seen anywhere else. So that definitely seems something pretty unique yeah. to you guys here. We've, we've definitely thought about doing like a permanent ceremony site and we just keep saying no because, you know, like we're creatives and the things that your vendors can do on wedding day are amazing. You can really transform the space all in one day. So Jake sets up all the furniture, all the chairs, wherever you want them and you know you can have a florist do their thing and it looks really cool and different you really can't go wrong with whatever space you choose like pam just said it's it's super fun seeing the different vendors come out and kind of run with it you could literally throw a coin close your eyes and wherever it lands that's where we're going to do the ceremony and whenever it comes wedding time it looks like that was made to be the ceremony spot for treehouse yeah. it's amazing yeah it's cool Actually, one of our um, okay. common ceremony spots. Right here. So you, the couple would stand right between the trees. You guys want to stand together? Yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> right here. This. Yeah, is that's it. You're getting married. <laughs> As you notice, you're in full shade, and then the guests would be here in the full shade. So aisle would be where I am. And if you look back at the venue, it's a really close walk for the couple to come out of their getting ready lounges and then come here to ceremony. Yeah. So anybody who's worried about like dragging their dress through the dirt or whatever, super close. And it is really nice because I can feel that nice uh, breeze, breeze behind me. Yeah. Which is nice. So we're in the shade and in the breeze. Yeah. Yep. Great combo right there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of, would you say this is your most popular spot or? So depending on time of year, the shade moves. So um, towards, I think it's like around October, the shade is gonna start moving more this way. And then we back up and go to this tunnel. So the couple is gonna be standing a lot closer to this alleyway. And this spot is called the alley. We do, oh. this is probably like our number one spot. Well, no, number two. I'm gonna say number two. 
sculpture. So your guests are gonna be sitting all around here. The couple stands in front of that like tunnel and this is called the alley. The alley. The and so um, number one spot. Or... The number one spot is called the wedding spot. <laughs> it's called the wedding spot. Okay. We need to work on our name. <laughs> I yeah. think this is where we did our very first wedding and this yeah. is a really popular area just because the way the yeah. oak so trees like yeah. symmetrically like form a backdrop just it's very nature centered backdrop like you don't really need to do anything it's always in the shade jake come marry me <laughs> yeah we have a little demo of what it's like demo. there we go <laughs> we now pronounce you <laughs> it because your guests are really immersed in the trees so if they look up they're seeing leaves they're hearing the crickets and the birds and um, it also gives people something more experiential where they're getting further away from the venue so they're like experiencing nature and then they're going to transition and experience cocktail hour outside and then they have a third transition to experience the reception space at night so it's like another you know location yeah but what's a fun fact is the treehouse ground and the wedding mound are the same elevation. The oh! Co the concrete floor is the same, same height elevation. as up here. Can you believe that? No, that's that's really, I mean, yes, I can believe it, so but that's it crazy. It just kind of like gently slopes down here and then... Cool. It looks like a hill. It's a it's, Florida hill. It's still yeah. standing up here. It feels like it's much higher. Another oh. fun fact, this is actually the highest elevation in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Six and a half feet. <laughs> actually. Yeah, so I love this ceremony spot. It looks really cool um, in winter, especially. And if you have a drone capturing like the above shot, it's awesome. So um, looking back, obviously you get to see the venue and like everything set up looks so beautiful. And then looking towards nature, you just get to see the tree grove and you're really immersed like in the treetops. I like, um, this is something I was saying before, but um, like when we did our introduction, I was saying that there's something about the venue like everything's very symmetrical which i really like like the symmetry with the uh the plants and a lot of your guys' decor it's just really pleasing to look at and i, I say that from like a photographer and videographer's perspective just um, in that regard it's really it's really nice so this is where we do our seasonal crops right now these are like cow peas mixed in with grass in the summer months we kind of let it reset itself let the soil base get the ph level up um, kind of let it go a little bit uh, you can see some remnants of what we had in the last season this whole field was giant sunflowers uh, sunflowers are really popular so we'll probably go with that again just because like for photo ops and backdrops it's really fun yeah um, so yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna do sunflowers again back here I did add some yeah, banana say, trees that some that's new so that whole back line right now I'm gonna turn into a little banana forest well there there is some um... There's also like something to say for that trail back there. Isn't that trail like, uh, so there's, I remember you guys saying something neat we're gonna, about that. We're gonna drive out here. Yeah, so this this is the where the nature preserve starts on the other side of this dock. You ever get nervous that like, you're gonna like clip one of these? Uh, <laughs> I've done this so many times. Oh, okay. I can do this in the dark. Oh yeah. I do do it in the dark sometimes. That's funny. We built that dock. Oh really? Yeah. Every, dude, everything here you guys should... So that the whole boardwalk <laughs> going through. Yeah. I wasn't around then, but my father in law Wayne, Pam's dad, and Pam's yeah. brother both, the three of them built that dock by hand. Wow. This is one of the cool features of the property. So the tree farm backs up to the Indian River Lagoon. We have a dock out here on the river as you can see. It's a really fun spot for the couple to come out here with their photographer and sneak away from all the hustle and bustle of wedding day and do some private pictures. You can come out here and do a first look if you like. We've had couples come out here and read private, private vows. Um, it's just a nice little add-on feature that we have to offer here at Treehouse to make your day even more special than it already is. <laughs> That's awesome. Has anybody ever uh, arrived by boat? Is that something that? No, I've, anybody... I've had I've had a lot of people okay. joke, say we're gonna come from boat from the hotel. Cause, yeah. you know, a lot of the hotels in the area are really close by. Captain Hiram's is just seven miles down the road. You can actually access it by boat. Okay. No one's actually done it yet. <laughs> but that is an option if somebody- oh, We could probably make it happen okay. if they needed to. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. If you guys, you know, if that's something you're big boat people, you wanna ride by boat, there you go. So, um, 
And then so we also have this area right behind you guys um, if you look that way. So this is another fun spot for uh, couples if they want to get some pictures. We have a nice, uh, some nice leading lines down here. This tunnel, it looks like it just goes on forever. It's really neat. Uh, but this is a spot that we've used before for couples and uh, we'll show you guys some video what that looks like. <laughs> This is a really pretty shot at sunset right here, especially when everything's like all mowed and like tightened up because yeah. the sun sets directly that way. People like to take pictures too with these yeah. old oak trees with the Spanish moss. It is, it's beautiful. From the air too, with the drone, it's, um, it's a really cool angle because you can really see the, the whole property. Yeah. Are those bees? Yep. Dude. Got, awesome. got a beekeeper, keeps his bees right there in the trailer, trades his honey for them. Dude, that's awesome. The bees love the mangroves. I bet. And they love the lychee trees too. Yeah. Right behind us, we have some wildflowers. They work really nice for, um, again, more wedding portraits, some, some photography options. We have some footage that we'll show you right here of uh, of shots that we've gotten before. And um, Jake, I think there's something you wanted to say about. Yeah, so the wildflower field, all these are native to the state of Florida. There's 18 different varieties of wildflowers in here. And the cool thing about them is they bloom at different times of the year. Summertime is the low months as far as blooming for these varieties of wildflowers, which is why, you know, you can only see some cosmos popping up through here right now. but. Usually starting in October, it really starts to flourish. And you guys have been here whenever you've seen yeah. seen it in bloom. It's really something nice, a little extra add on to your pictures on your wedding day. Uh, so one of the cool things we do at Treehouse is a lot of people are a little concerned about being outdoors. Maybe there's gonna be some bugs or mosquitoes they have to worry about. We have that all taken care of as well. We have a spray that we do. It's an airborne spray. It blankets the whole property from south to north, east to west. You do, don't have to worry about it. We got the mosquitoes covered. We also do a blanket spray on the lawn to keep the ants at bay. So if you're worried about bugs and mosquitoes, it's not a problem out here. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's the tree house in Vera Beach. Uh, thank you guys for opening this place up and uh, showing us around and talking to us. We really appreciate it. It's been really fun uh, getting to do this with you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. We love showing people around. We love, sh uh, thank you so much for spreading the word. We love it when you're here shooting weddings. So awesome. looking forward to many more. Well, thanks so much guys. That's the tour of the tree house of your beach. And I know what you're thinking, where the heck did that banana plant go that we saw in the beginning of the video? Where is it? Well, um, I just want to let you guys know I took it. It's mine now, but I, they, they offered it to me. <laughs> but there he is all right so what do you think we should name him leave it down in a comment email me whoever's name is the best name um you don't get anything but if you want i'll take a picture of you with the plant that you named so anyway thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one